Hi there, Anthony Love here, Head of Sales at Paul Fraser Collectibles. I've just returned from a trip away where we've been consigned some new stamps that are shortly going to be available for sale. And I've got Mike Hall here, our CEO, who's going to run through them with you now. Here is the first piece. This first one is the 1884-5 Shilling Rose. Uh, it just happens to be my favourite Victorian stamp. Uh, the reason for that predominantly is I just believe the rose colour is incredibly effective on the stamp. Um, but it's also the ornate Victorian design which I find highly appealing, which I think shows the sense of pride in the postal revolution that was taking place at that time. Now what's particularly attractive about this example is its quality. It's uh, unused, as you can see, it has original gum, uh, it's perfectly centred and the perforations are all intact. And uh, I just think it's an incredibly attractive stamp. Okay, and the second one. Now, the second one is quite unusual, and it's actually the first time we've handled anything like this. Um, it's from 1842. As you can see, it includes a penny red on, on the envelope. But what makes this special is the illustrated envelope, which is quite quirky. Um, it has the, the words going, going, gone for one penny at the top and uh, it shows a rider who is gradually uh, being thrown from his horse, so it's, it's quite a humorous um, colour in itself. Now, this is of the utmost rarity to the point that no, we've never seen one before, and um, it's in beautiful condition with lovely Maltese cross, um, a black Maltese cross uh, cancellation, and um, I think that really belongs in a, a discerning collection of a specialised collector in this area. Now this, this third one um, predates the Penny Black. This is from 1839 and it comes from the Treasury competition um, which was uh, came about before the Penny Black. There was invitations and a competition to come up with the design for the very, very first poster stamp. And this one was from uh, James Bogardus and it shows a, a one in a, in a red square with the, the, the half ounce penny below and the half ounce penny relates to the maximum weight that was uh, allowed for the one penny rate. Um, now this is very rare and uh, it's an exhibition piece. Uh, any, you would expect to see this in an exhibition, uh, a major uh, international event uh, in this area and um, no, it's, it's quite, quite an exceptional piece. Now, th now this one is uh, one of the most famous stamps in the world. It's the 1980 Year of the Monkey stamp, which comes from China. And it's an iconic stamp in China. It's considered a lucky emblem. And the reason for that is that the colour red and the number eight are both uh, considered lucky symbols in Chinese culture. And because of that, pretty much every Chinese collector aspires to own one. It's incredibly coveted. But it's also not just collectors that like to own the stamp. It's actually given quite often in China as a gift uh, because it's considered so iconic and such a prestigious thing to own. Um, it's been an incredible investment over the past 20 years, went up about 500% in value. Yet, despite its incredible desirability and you know, huge demand for it, it's still um, reasonably priced at this time and I think is a, is a great addition. Big problem we have with this stamp is that we never ever have one in stock. Uh, as soon as we get one, there's always someone that wants to buy it from us straight away. So they're effectively in and out the door. We never get to hold it for any length of time. Now, this is a wonderful Queen Victorian uh, printing variety of the utmost rarity uh, at the really top end of the market. It's uh, the 1867-9D straw from printed plate 4. Now what makes this uh, so special is the fact that it's an imperforate pair, so there's no perforations. And uh, it's so rare, this is one of only two examples that exist in private hands. Now, the, the 9D rate at that time in 1867 was used exclusively for uh, postage sent to India, Australia and Brazil. And, and, and this particular example 
has great providence behind it in that it comes from a, a well-known collection called the Phillips Collection. And it, it, it truly is an iconic rarity from uh, Queen Victoria and Philately. The final one we'd like to share with you today is actually one of the crown jewels of world philately, not just British philately, but all philately. And the reason for that is it comes from the 6th of May, 1840, the very, very first day of official postage. And at that time, there was two contenders for what would be used. One was the small ready envelope, which you can see, and the other was penny black. And what we have here is a combination of a 1D Mulready ready envelope with a penny black. And that was to uprate the rate to two pence. Now, there are only two examples of the 2D rate on a, a 1D Mulready uh, from the 6th of May. And this one is by far the finest of the two. Uh, most first day covers look pretty bad. This is in great state of preservation. And it was posted from uh, Montrose in Scotland on the 6th of May uh, in the Evening Post. And it's got a, a date stamp of arrival uh, in Edinburgh on the 8th of May, which is where I'm from. And uh, it is from the top of Philately. This is a prestigious item, uh, one of the most prestigious items you could possibly own. So that is just shows some items that we are very excited about at the moment. Uh, as I said, uh, they are not available for sale yet. Uh, they've just come in. So if you were looking to secure these before they're publicly available, um, you'll need to contact uh, my colleague here, Ant, at paulfrasercollectibles.com. So that's Ant, A-N-T, at paulfrasercollectibles.com. Alternatively, give us a call on 01 534 639 998. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure.